So I know I have uh, made a lot of videos on hair loss, balding, you know, things that we can do. But I just wanted to make another video um, just talking about the three main core things that, in my opinion, have allowed me to retain um, my hairline where it is and, you know, have kept any bald spots from appearing on the top of my head. And uh, I've been taking these things for <clears throat> at least over two years now. So for quite a while, I've been taking these products on a regular daily basis at the recommended dosage. So the first one, of course, is what I'm well known for, and that is Sal Palmetto. And, you know, I've been attacked from many different people. Um, on the use of salt palmetto, but I really feel that this is one of the best strategies you can use when it comes to dealing with male pattern baldness. It's very effective at inhibiting <clears throat> this 5-alpha reductase, which is the enzyme responsible for converting your healthy testosterone over to dehydrotestosterone. Now, DHT isn't an evil thing, but in the case of male pattern baldness, we have a genetic condition that our follicles on the top of the head are more sensitive to this DHT. So if you have a larger amount of DHT in your system, then you're more susceptible of that, for, of that DHT to miniaturize your hair. And salt and metal really does a great job at stopping that process. And uh, Dr. Joe Mercola, and amongst other ones, like Dr. James Duke, who is a famous herbalist, have all recommended sal palmetto to treat, you know, male pattern baldness. In fact, Mercola even said if he'd known about sal palmetto earlier on in his career, when he still had a good, decent head of hair, he would have looked at this much more carefully and have used it for his scalp. So. This is probably the number one thing I would recommend someone get on right away if they are experiencing male pattern baldness and, you know, um, I do agree that it's probably best to wait um, after you've gone through puberty. If you're still really, really young, I would wait at least until you're in your 20s, maybe 21, 22, if you've, if you've fully gone through gone through puberty, you should be okay with taking cell palmetto. Because DHT does have some important roles to play in our body, such as facial hair growth, amongst others. So, I mean, I wouldn't recommend somebody take cell palmetto if they're really, really young, like under 20. But, I mean, if you're over 20 and you're pretty much developed, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that cell palmetto is going to be harmful or anything to you, because you're already pretty much done growing as it is. And... The fact that it's a natural herb, you know, it's not anything like Propecia or any of these drugs which can cause some serious problems in your body, such as impotence. So, uh, I only recommend natural, safe herbs that have been used for thousands of years, especially among the Native Americans, when it comes to treating any type of hair loss problem. And, you know, this is also really great for prostate, prostate health, which is... Which, which it mostly is advertised for, but this is also great for acne because a large amount of DHT has also been shown to contribute to acne. So a lot of people said, you know, that salt palmetto also helps them in that regard. The second thing that I would take along with salt palmetto is stinging nettle root extract. And this is just another great way to inhibit DHT which is fantastic for keeping the hair on your head. So, you know, I take <clears throat> two caps of this every day. Um, sometimes more if I feel that I need it, but most days I just take two, you know. And it works just fine. It really does. And uh, if you just... Look this up on Google, you can find all kinds of useful and good information on sting nettle root extract, but it's just really great. And uh, you can also use or make nettle root uh, rinses from the nettle leaf to wash your hair with. 
Um, supposedly, it's great for encouraging hair regrowth. And the third thing is Hishu Wu, or, you know, a good formulation of Hoshu Wu. Dragon Herbs is a really high quality company that I would recommend um, if people are considering to take Hishu Wu because it's prepared the right way with uh, the black beans. It's prepared by steaming with Chinese black beans. That's the way that it's supposed to be um, prepared and consumed. So this is a high quality supplement and it's mostly well known for darkening your natural hair color. Whatever your hair color is, this helps to darken it. So this is great stuff. There's another one called Hair and Nails Formula, I believe. But it takes Hishu Wu amongst other Chinese herbs and it's like a formulation that helps to improve the hair. And both of those are really, really beneficial and helpful. And uh, a lot of great reviews, testimonials that people have given on that. So those are like the three main core things that I take on a regular daily basis. And um, like I say, they're not just for hair, but they're for a lot of great things. You know, Hishu Wu is like the number one, I guess, like anti-aging herb, you know, you could take. <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. So... You know, those are three of the main things that I take for my hair. And other than that, there's a lot of things that you can take for your hair. Um, eating <coughs> fish three times a week is great because of the omega-3s. helps fight inflammation. Um, and again, DHT, when it attacks the hair follicles, there's inflammatory. There's inflammation right there. So, you know, com you don't want a lot of inflammation in your body. Um, so it's, it's good to consume the omega-3 fats. Um, borge oil, GLA, which is sometimes lacking in a lot of people's diet. You can get that from evening primrose oil, black currant, or borage oil. Borage oil being the richest source of GLA amongst the other two, which has been shown to be very beneficial for um, maintaining your hair and halting, you know, the receding hairline. <clears throat> uh, other than that, you got things like procyanthidins from grapeseed extract, green tea extract, curcumin. All of these are excellent and been shown in studies to help prevent male pattern baldness and encourage hair regrowth. And then there's other things such as ginkgo biloba and goat cola and cayenne pepper that will help to increase circulation to the hair follicles which will encourage regrowth and um, also MSM very 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 beneficial for your hair it helps your hair and your nails to grow faster and just it just gives your hair much much more nutrition than what you normally would get if you hadn't included it in your diet and sulfur deficiency is very common amongst all of us because it's just not present in the fruit and vegetables anymore um, on top of that you got the green superfood powders you know you know I take vitamin mineral green which is loaded with spirulina, chlorella and other uh, sea vegetables, land vegetables that are very rich in nutrients and anti-aging you know components um, that will help slow down the expression of male pattern baldness because if you're taking in anti-aging things that help slow the aging process then you're going to slow the rate at which your receding hairline recedes and the rate at which you're balding. So that's an important strategy as well to consider. Um, eating sardines because they're rich in nucleic acids have been shown to slow aging which will slow bald the balding process. Um, and then externally you can do a lot for your hair. You can apply olive oil because this helps to break up the DHT, helps to inhibit it so that your hair can regrow better. Um, a lot of people mix the olive oil with the cayenne pepper because the cayenne pepper helps to um, bring blood flow to the hair follicles so it increases the circulation. Um, coconut oil has been shown to be great to put on your hair because of the lauric acid has been shown to inhibit DHT as well as the consumption of coconut oil has been great to sh 
great, and it's been shown to actually um, help the prostate. Uh, and then we have emu oil, uh, jojoba oil, and then you got essential oils like lavender and rosemary, which have been shown to stimulate hair regrowth. You got biotin, which has been shown to thicken the hair. Um, you know, Country Life is a good brand that you can buy that has a good dosage of biotin that's been very helpful for hair <coughs> thickening. So, I mean, you got all kinds of things, but a lot of the ones that I just mentioned are really the forefront when it comes to having healthier hair and slowing male pattern baldness. Now, of course, all of these things are not a cure, but it's an overall strategy that you can implement in your life, in your diet, in order to, you know, slow this receding hairline or slow this balding process down if you're genetically predisposed to it. And I'd recommend all these things regardless if you're genetically predisposed to it or not, just because it's going to improve the quality of your hair that you currently have and also prevent any hair loss down the road. And um, also would be worth mentioning that all of these things will also help to retain hair color as well. So hopefully, you know, that's giving you guys a good idea um, of all the different things that you can take to help, you know, with this baldness. <clears throat> And, and the thing is, the earlier you catch it and the earlier you start implementing these things, the better off you're going to be and the better off your hair is going to be. But if, you know, you catch this thing later on and you've already lost a lot of your hair, uh, it'll be a lot harder for you to regrow your hair. Because once you've lost that hairline, it's almost next to impossible to get it back unless you go with something like surgery or something, which I highly do not recommend. Um, so... If you're still young, you know, in your 20s, and you notice that your hair is receding or balding, then get right on all these different things, and you should notice a dramatic reduction in your hair loss, and you'll, in my opinion, be able to keep your hair for a lot longer. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, you got to be proactive. you got to be consistent, too, with taking these things. It will require some money because of the price to buy these different things, but if you believe that your hair is worth having, then uh, money shouldn't be an issue when it comes to this. Um, remember too that losing your hair doesn't mean you're not healthy, it's just a genetic thing. And uh, you know, some people want to have their hair, some people really don't care. So it's really a personal decision and choice, um, what you're willing and wanting to do. So. Uh, <clears throat> but if you do decide that you want to do something about your hair loss or your baldness, always go the natural route because it's safe and um, so with that I think I pretty much covered everything that I wanted to mention in the video and uh, if you have any questions you know or you need help with anything then please ask me down below in the comments section and um, <clears throat> hopefully, you know, I've been a good example that it is possible to slow receding hairline and baldness down by implementing these strategies. And one last thing that I would just like to mention is that <clears throat> overall, the best thing, too, that you can do for the health of your hair is to eat whole foods, traditional whole foods. Stay away from the processed foods, the junk foods, the refined sugars all the bad vegetable oils, hydrogenated fats, trans fats, stay away from fast foods and get back to eating local uh, traditional whole foods and you'll be a-okay.